In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the missing side in a right triangle when we are given one of the acute angles and one of the sides of the right triangle. I have here a right triangle and I have been given one of the acute angles and one of the side lengths. I'm interested in knowing what is x. What is x? I have my x here. What is x? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label the sides of my triangle. The hypotenuse is always opposite of the right angle. So here I could say, well, that's my hypotenuse. Now, the other two sides I can't label unless I use an angle of reference. I need to refer to an angle. So we're going to use the angle that we were given. We're going to say this is my angle of reference. That's my angle. of reference and with respect to my angle of reference I have my this would be my adjacent side because it's next to 67 degrees it's the other side that forms the angle that's not the hypotenuse and the X here would be the side on the opposite side so it's the opposite of 67 degrees now in order to solve for a missing side in a right triangle, I need to use a primary trigonometric ratio and set up an equation. I know three primary trigonometric ratios. I know that the sine of theta, the sine of an angle, is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. I know that the cos of theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And I know that the tan of theta, and theta here is just any angle of reference, this is the opposite side over the adjacent side. And one way you can, uh, it's helpful to remember this is, is a, as a word, and I learned this ages ago, and I don't know who to give credit for this, but this word is fantastic. It's Sakatoa. Sakatoa. And the first letter in each, um, so triple, I guess you would say, uh, refers to the trigonometric ratio. So this one refers to sine, this one refers to cosine, this one refers to tangent. And the O, H, and A refer to opposite hypotenuse and adjacent. So what this uh, tells me is that the sine would be opposite over hypotenuse, that cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse, and the tangent would be opposite over adjacent. So this little word here might help you to remember these three primary trigonometric ratios. Coming back to the problem, I need to pick one of these trigonometric ratios. And I'm going to do that by looking at what I want here, which is the opposite side, and what I have, which is the hypotenuse. And opposite hypotenuse refers to this trigonometric ratio, sine. So I'm going to set up an equation using sine. I know that the sine of my angle of reference, which is 67 degrees in this case, will be equal to the opposite side, which happens to be x in this case, over top of 13. Now I just have, uh, this is just some number. Okay, we can use our calculator to get this number. So some number is equal to x over 13. This becomes a very basic algebra problem. I'm going to isolate x by multiplying both sides by 13. This will be times 13. And I get x is equal to 13 times the sine of 67 degrees. Now I'm, I'm going to plug that into my calculator. So I'm going to say 13 times the sine of 67 degrees. Okay, and I'm getting a really funny answer. And I'm actually glad I got this answer because you might have a different answer if you're following along in the video. Is it's a negative number. And obviously this, this can't be the right answer, can it? 
and that is because my calculator is in the wrong mode. So the very first thing I should have done is I should have gone into the mode and said, hey, you know what? I need to be in degree mode because I'm working with degree. So I'm going to change my calculator into degree mode. And then we'll go back and we'll try that again. 13 times the sine of 67 degrees. Because we're working with degrees here, I need my calculator to be in degree mode. Okay, and now I'm getting 11.96. So if I wanted to round that, I could say that's that's about 12 degrees. Okay, so that's a, sorry, not, not about, it was not 12 degrees, approximately 12. Okay. So let's just do one more example. So find the missing side. Again, I have a right triangle. I have an angle of reference. My angle of reference. And with respect to my angle of reference, this is the opposite side. And this is the hypotenuse. So if I, if I use that fancy word that I showed you uh, in the last example, sakatoa, if I just write it out like this, if I can remember how to spell it, Okay, go sine, cosine, tangent. I'm looking for the ratio that involves opposite and hypotenuse. Well, look at look at there. There it is. OH opposite hypotenuse. We're talking about the sine function again. So I'm going to set this up. I'm going to say that the sine of 56 degrees is equal to opposite 11 over the hypotenuse, which is x. This time I have x on the bottom. So this complicates things because I can't have x on the bottom. I need x up top. So the very, very first thing we need to do is we need to multiply both sides by x so that I get x up on top. And if I rewrite this statement, I guess that x times the sine of 56 degrees is equal to 11. Now I can solve this problem. I need to isolate x, and I'm going to do that by dividing both sides by the sine of 56 degrees. That's going to cancel out, and I get x is equal to 11. Oh, look at that. Some work from before that got erased. Okay. x is going to be equal to 11 over the sine of 56 degrees. So that is going to be 11 divided by the sine of 56, which is approximately 13, 13.3. Okay, we didn't tell you where to round, so. All right, let's do one more. One more. Last one. Last one. Okay, so sometimes we can have the x on top. Sometimes we can have the x on the bottom. Find the missing side. Again, right triangle. I'm given a side. I'm given an angle. Here's my angle of reference. This must be my uh, hypotenuse. That's uh, hypotenuse. Eraser. This would be my adjacent side. So I'm going to write out my word again, Sakatoa. And it turns out that I'm not talking about sine this time. I'm not, I don't have O and H. I have A and H. A, H, A, H. Oh, it looks like Ka. So cosine. So the cos of 67 degrees is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so it's in that order, AH adjacent over hypotenuse, so that would be X over 11. Good, so I have this easier uh, type of problem where X is already on top. So I'm just gonna take me one step to solve this. I simply need to multiply both sides by 11 to isolate X, and X is equal to 11 times the cos of 67. So let's plug that in, 11 times the cos of 67, and what do I get? I'm getting about 4.3 if I round that off, so 4.3. Okay. And that is how you can find a missing side of a right triangle using trigonometric ratios when you're given an acute angle in the triangle and one of the other sides.